What's up guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet Channel. I have MDA Modern Day Advice with me. And there goes the camera following the turn. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm here cruising with my good friend Trevor. Going down to see uh, our buddy. He's gonna have a birthday, so we're just cruising this nice bed. So today, we're going to be talking about uh, relationships in general, and I've got a couple stories here that I want to I want to bring to your guys' attention. Is the best guy for this for this uh, podcast right now? He's he's got some of the best advice, and I'm I'm looking for his input because it is going to help show you guys what. I can't tell you what I don't know so we're gonna start out by just with this one story there's a there's this guy I know and he comes up and he goes you know today is today is the worst day it, it's a very hard day for me and so I, I sat there and I said well all right why is why is today so hard and he says man I made I made plans with this girl and last minute, here she is, telling me she's she's got she's got to work. She's got other things to do. And it immediately, right there, popped into my mind, and uh, we got to fix this camera real quick. <laughs> and I and and I hear in my head, and he's like, "Oh, Trevor, you got to tell him. You got you got to just tell him. It's not she's not yours. It's just your turn." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. So, so I'll just start with that little piece. You know, um, we call this, or I call these girls, or they're called the flake. They're gonna flake on you, and they're gonna have every type of excuse. Um, they have a relative that just came over, and they're visiting, and they have to uh, be there with them or show them around town. They, their dog needs to go to the vet. They need to take care of their kids if they're a single mother or someone else's kids. Uh, they were asked to work overtime at their job. They're gonna find every single excuse to flake on you because of the fact that they don't really desire you. If they actually had genuine, genuine, and, and I want to be very specific because there's different types of attraction, but if they had genuine sexual attraction to you, they would make every excuse to be with you. They would find a way. They would crawl out the back window so their parents couldn't find them or their boyfriend or their husband wouldn't see just to be with you. So when they're coming up with these excuses like my work, I mean, that, that <clears throat> for, for, a, for an older guy like me, we've already seen these flakes and we already know that it's just she's just making it up and women don't want to hurt your feelings and they're kind of scared because they've been with guys that have gotten angry with them and I mean we have domestic cases where a guy gets angry because a girl wants to play he could end up strangling her or hurting her so because they're smaller than us they're going to use what they have and they'll they'll lie about it they don't want to hurt your feelings and they don't want you to get mad. So they're just going to say, oh yeah, they made me work overtime. And what he's going through right now is he's young and he doesn't know, but he's going to have to get used to that. A lot of girls are going to flake. That's just the way they are. And it could honestly be she has a better, uh, she's going out on a better date or seeing another guy that she likes better than him. Exactly. That's, that's what I was talking, thinking about the entire time is... She's got somebody else. Whether whether this guy's better, more interesting, or he's got that bad boy vibe. That's that's what came to my mind. And, and these flakes are gonna happen now. If you have a lot of consistent flakes, you gotta really start reflecting why they're flaking on you. Because women don't flake on alphas. They don't flake on men that they have genuine sexual desire for. And what I mean by that. I, I don't know this guy. How old is he? He's pretty young. Pretty young. Pretty okay, young. I, we won't get specific, but he's pretty young. So, a lot of young guys, and, um, they're they're not mature. They're not. And what 
what I mean by mature, not like, oh, I'm sophisticated. I only drink Dos Equis. I don't mean that. Or, or scholarly or anything like that. I mean, a lot of them still have boy bodies because they don't go to the gym and they don't work out. A lot of them, um, they don't make much money. They don't have a career. They're still going to school. They're still going to college. They're, 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 uh, they're barely out of puberty and they haven't built it, it takes a while. It takes a while for you to get your body up to, the older you get, uh, around 25, 27, your body, and 30, your your body is is more, more, uh, ex, it, it's more able to build muscle at the gym. Um, as you get around 30, 35, people start seeing you with a different kind of respect and they start tra taking you a little more seriously because you're older now.
they're muscular because their sport requires them to do squats, to do bench presses, to do deadlifts, and and so they grow in size. That that's like that that's their major that they go into when they go into a community college. They, they play on the football team and get a scholarship, or the basketball team, or the baseball team, whatever it may be. So a young girl like that, she's gonna go more on the attraction. No, she might not. There's exceptions to the rule and stuff like that. High school sweethearts and whatnot. But a young chick like that is probably going to go for guys that she's more sexually attracted to. And so we'll stick with that because that changes as they get older and, they have, and they're single mothers with kids because now they got to get a beta male provider, so a plow horse, somebody who, who pays the bills for her and her kid. Now... We don't know, I don't really have enough information from this story. If she was, she might have possibly been looking at Trevor's friend as a plow horse, a beta male provider, somebody who is going to step in there and make life easier on her and support her financially and her kid. Yeah. Now, if she's been around and with a bunch of guys, you know, they have that saying, you can't make a, you can't make a, a garden tool into a housewife. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep it YouTube friendly. <laughs> so we'll get to modern time. You, you know, uh, uh, if if she can, she uh, you, you 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 can't make a garden tool into a housewife. So no. so even if Trevor's friend was an attractive male, a financially attractive male, by having a decent job, and he can support this woman with her kid. Um, she'd still be cheating on him, you know. So, so, and, and at this, see, I, I didn't even experience this when I was young. So I feel bad for Trevor's generation and even younger generations because of social media and the dating apps and like OnlyFans and things like that. Yeah. At, at, on your phone. She can get as many guys. She can she can set up dates, hook up with as many guys as she wants, in the all in the palm of her hand. All so, while you're on a date with her. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> well, you know, if this guy decided to to hook up with her, and um, you know, she wanted somebody she was sexually attracted to, or maybe he didn't give her enough money for rent, or he didn't buy her kid something, or. Or he scolded her kid, or well, for whatever reason she's frustrated with him. At the palm of her hand, she can go and go get another guy. So, and women are, you know, at that age, they, they tend to do that a lot. So, um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend if if. Do you want me to give him a recommendation? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and give him a recommendation. Okay. I, I tried to give him the best that I could by saying, you know. I know your heart hurts right now, but your heart's still there, and it's, it's only going to get a little bit stronger by this, because you're going to continue to run into this same problem. So, there's a few things, and one, I'm going to say, why you shouldn't be dating a single mother. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> and then, number two, I'm going to I'm going to focus on what you should be focusing on. So, the reason you shouldn't be dating a single mother is because one, you're never going to be the, you're never going to be a priority in her life. Now, at first, yes, she's going to give you some good sex. She's going to, especially if she's experienced. Yeah, let's just face it. Women, the women that you're going to be dealing with nowadays in your generation, they're going to be way more experienced than you are or than any guys. Just because they they have uh, the options, they have the opportunities now. You're, you're never going to be their notch count is going to be way higher than yours. So you want to say something? Yeah. The, um, so talking about the our body counts right now, you you always take what a a woman tells you and multiply it by three, and you always take a man's answer divided by three. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, and that's true, that, 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 that has a lot of truth to it. 
so oh the Camaro guy thinks he's all big and bad with a little cigarette <laughs> but so that's one thing to keep in mind is is that she, she may be giving you good sex at first and you're gonna like it and I mean you're and another thing you're doing too and, and I'll touch on that don't let me forget he's conflating his sexual attraction to her or he's on cloud nine right now he's in the fetish yeah like, like the infatuation stage yeah. with love which that's not what it is just lust right so you're completing right. love with lust and we'll touch that but we'll get back to why you shouldn't date steel mother you're never gonna be a pro just bottom line her kids come first yeah. first yeah. first of all even if she didn't have kids a woman comes first but when she has kids her kids come at first, yeah, she knows she has to put her hooks in you, so she's going to give you the good sex to get you on her program. But, after she's got you on her program, it's her kids, so you're going to be taking her kids to daycare. You're going to be taking care, well, actually, you'll become the daycare. Yeah, yep. While she goes out to, to, to work, or she goes on girls' uh, night What out. about a girls' night weekend, or a girls' night, girls' weekend? Girls' yep. night out. Yeah. You'll, you'll be the guy staying home and taking care of her kid. Second of all, you're going to have to put up with her ex coming around yeah. wanting to see the kid. And that it's not going to be a, a... Most of those interactions are not cordial or friendly. No, no. And then if she's fighting with her ex, you're going to have to go to court constantly. To child services court. Or pay for the court, for the attorney, the court pay, fees. Exactly. You're gonna be the one to the bill for all of that. Yeah. So that's just a, a thing that you are never going to be a priority in her life. It's her kids first, then her, her, her kid, her dog, and then you. So just keep that in mind. Second, the love. I mean, you may be hurt right now. You may be heartbroken. It happens to everyone. But that's not love. You didn't know this person long enough to love her. Okay, first of all, I can guarantee you that, to, just because you're young. And second of all, that feeling that you're built, that's lust. Look it up in the dictionary, because I know a lot of kids don't even know what lust means. Right. But it, it, it basically just means you're, you have a sexual attraction. It could even be sexual obsession. With, with that girl but that's not love that's not love love is what a parent has for their child what a person has for like a dog or or, or, or what a parent has for their kids like like uh, as a parent you know as parents we tell you what real love is but it's yeah. it's not lust you have to discern from the from the two things so what you're experiencing is you had a lot of lust for this woman and you missed the sex that's all you missed and because as a young cat like yourself that hasn't doesn't have enough value it's hard for you to replace that sex so you're missing that you're not missing love you're missing sex you just have to go get another one and you feel better to be honest exactly, I, <laughs> exactly. I, mean, I mean i mean really you'll forget about her you you won't even care if you really want to forget about her go get another one i know that's not that's easier said than done because of the way it's rigged up. It, uh, uh, and there's so many male virgins nowadays because it's so much easier for a woman to have multiple sex partners, but there's so many men that are actually virgins nowadays because it's difficult yep. for men. If you're not in that, what, 5%? Yep. It, yep. it just becomes that much more difficult for you. But... If, if, if we're 15 years ago, you know, 10 years ago, before they had all these dating apps, yeah, it'd be easy for you just to go get another one and forget about this one. That would be a, a good little topic to step into, is uh, validation. Because that's that's all these dating apps are. I mean, yeah, you got, you got uh, I, don't, I don't remember the percentages, but a top percent of men on these dating apps actually do get something from it whereas the rest of us like me i don't i didn't get anything from it i got you know what i did 
I wasted my time. Yep. Wasted my time. Yep. Absolutely nothing from it. Yep. And, and, and this is the reality of most people. There's no shame in saying this. Like, don't think like, oh, well, I'm better than you. I, I, I bet you I could get. No, most of you guys can. There's no shame in admitting that how the game, how reality is. Most of you can't. Now, if, uh, for example, Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, uh, uh, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers got on there, yeah, they'd have a bunch of matches. Oh, yeah. But look, but they're very high, high, high value males. You know, they're not, and, and this is what women want because they get to scroll through all these guys. And now if you're, another thing is if you're really big and muscular, uh, like a Arnold Schwarzenegger or something like that, or, you know, Sylvester Stallone, uh, Bradley Cooper, something like that, yeah, they're going to want you for your body. I mean, you'll get those, but you have to remember that in order for you to get that way, which is a good segue to what I'm getting to, in order to, for you to get that way, it's going to take you at least five, seven years of hardcore training and diet and doing the right things, focusing on yourself to get to that point. So right now that you're young, my advice to you is to focus completely on yourself. Be selfish. Because anyways, at the end of the day, you're not going to get anything. You can go on Bumble. You can go on, on uh, Tinder, on Plenty of Fish. Match, whatever on, on the match, case. Whatever. <laughs> You're not going to get anything, man. You're not going to get anything. If you're not getting anything right now, you're not going to... You're not going to snap your beer one day or put on the right shirt, the right hat, or the right... It ain't going to happen, dude. It ain't gonna, you have to make some drastic changes. If you want to if you wanna test this and see how it works, all you got to do is go grab uh, a picture of uh, some famous or slightly unknown guy that's really ripped and create an account totally fake based on that and just watch the messages come in that's all you got to do yep and then if you go put your account back out there crickets there's nothing <laughs> <laughs> yeah and and so so um they've actually done this on youtube you really don't even need to do it if you don't want to you can true, true. You can do it if you're just so like, oh, that's not true. That's not true. Hey, but you can do it. Go, just go like Trevor said. Go make your own. But you go online. They've done it online too, on YouTube. Yeah, there's plenty of videos. And and some of these guys are completely disrespectful. They've even put child molesters, rapists, domestic violence, or murder. These girls will let it all slide because they're good-looking. Chad's and Tyrone's. Chad's and Tyrone's are like really good-looking guys. Chad is like uh, a Chad is kind of like uh, the guy from uh, what is it, Fifty Shades of Grey? Or yeah, uh, dang, well, I can't think of that guy's name. So, something like that. And a uh, Tyrone is kind of like the bad. The, uh, I remember. I think his name was Tyrone from Fast and Furious. Or what was yeah. It? Was, yeah. It, was yep. it Tyrone? Okay. Tyrone. Yeah, or Tyrese gets Tyrese or yeah. whatever. I mean, they're like the bad boy type, kind of yeah. gangster, 50 Cent or whatever. So, I mean, they go for those guys because they're sexually attracted to those guys. When a woman's young, when she's hot and she's fertile, she's going to go for these guys, the modern American woman. Once she's in her 30s, and once she, or once she has kids and stuff, she needs, well, things change. Now she needs a plow horse. But now she wants like a doctor, a lawyer, something like that. And it doesn't mean that just because she goes to the doctor or lawyer, she's not going to cheat with the Tyrone in the chat. Right, well, right. Any, anyways, okay, I, uh, I drifted uh, off the topic. <laughs> what you need to do, because you're young, right now you need to stop, get off those dating apps, stop messing around, stop chasing women. Because honestly, when you're attractive, and you'll start noticing this when you get older, women will come up and talk to you. So if you're at the gym... It, it's kind of actually going to be annoying because you'll be doing some exercise set and then they'll start asking you just stupid questions. And you're like, why is she asking me this such retarded question? And because as a younger lad, you weren't used to women coming and talking to you. 
you're going to see it that way, but then you're going to be, oh my God, she was actually trying to make conversation with yeah. me. She actually wanted something. Or, or, or at the buffet, you, you'll be going to the buffet, and then the cute blonde chick will come over and start talking to you. And you'll be like, why is she asking me, like, if, if I like olives on my salad? Like, she retires right here. I can <laughs> grab it myself. And you're like, oh, she's making conversation. So you'll start noticing this once you start focusing on on yourself. The main thing you can do right now, I would say the number one thing is uh, go to the gym. Go to the gym and look smacks. Get your looks as best as you can. Put on as much muscle as you can. As much lean muscle that, that, that you can. So, now, it's going to take you a while if you've never done it. You're going to have to research what workouts, what type. Do you want to body build? Do you want to do calisthenics? Do you want to do uh, 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 power lifting? There's all different kinds for the body that you want. But you want to get into the gym as quick as possible and learn how to properly train. Because it's going to take you a while. You, it, it, if you've never gone to the gym and known how to you know, get your mind muscle connection and all this stuff, it's going to take you a while. There's a lot of little things that you have to do. So it's better to start now that you're young. So by the time you hit your 30s, by the time you're in your 30s, you're gonna have it on lockdown. You're gonna have the body that you want. And by the time you get in your 30s, you're also gonna be making more money. But before focusing on making money, before focusing on, on gaining an education, I would focus on your physique, number one. And then number two, um, I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess for you, you can, if you want to go to college, go to college. Is you going to college? Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not too sure. You can go to college if you want. Um, I would suggest trade school though, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> that, that, <laughs> I, I, it, it, it's so hard, you know, we're, we're always told to go to college. Yeah. So I'm like, well, for me, I really don't want to, <laughs> you know, but it's what they say. Yeah. You know, but let's yeah. be honest here. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would go to trade school. I, uh, oh, I mean, I went to college. I just didn't know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I went to uh, I went to college myself. Got two uh, associate's degrees, and to be honest, there's guys out there with a the blue collar job making more than I am. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where, where, where did I go wrong? Yeah. See, and and. I could have segue. I didn't really want to get into that because we could segue into a whole oh, other topic. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We could, there's plenty of other topics we could talk about. And uh, if you guys have any ideas, uh, go ahead and drop those down in the comments because we're gonna try and do more of these podcasts as we as we go and try and help more of you guys see see what we wish we had seen at your guys' age. Uh, I know that's, that's speaking of like the younger age there, but there there may even be some older guys that it still hasn't quite hit them. I mean, I I still see several guys that are older than us that it's like wake up and smell the coffee, guys. <laughs> yeah, is that exactly what 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 Trevor just said? I mean, I wish I would have known this when I was in my in my eighteen, nineteen, yeah. early twenties. Shoot, I, if I could have known that at age 16, then it would be completely different right now. I would probably have my own business going. I'd be, I would look a lot better than I do because back then, you know, I was playing football and lifting weights. And so I, I had, I had muscle, I had definition. I didn't really have mass, but had I kept that going right now, Oh man, I'd I'd be at my dream body I want to be right now. Oh yeah. Right now I'd be it, but I'm I'm not because I I stopped, and the whole reason I stopped is because I found I found a girl. The and one. I found what I thought was the one. Yeah. And uh, I mean we could dive into that if you want, because that that's a pretty good relationship to uh, bring up and dissect a little bit. You want to? Yeah, yeah. Cool. You're All right. The one, right? What? Uh, the one. 
Yeah, the one. The one. Okay. The one, the only. The one and only. The one so, God gave you. <laughs> that he put on this earth and said, Trevor and Aaron and all the other guys, this one belongs to you. Yep. So, uh, it, it starts out with actually one of my best friends at the time. And this is where I, I went wrong. We went to go hang out with this girl because he he wanted to go hang out with her. It was actually his friend, and he was gonna try and see about dating her and whatnot and all this and that. And I tagged along because he said, "Oh, she's got some friends," and I was like, "Well, man, you know, I'm not doing anything. It's like a Friday night. Sure, let's let's go. I'll, I'll join you. That'd be fun." <laughs> Little did I know that the next day she'd be asking him for my phone number to quote unquote give to her friends but keep for herself and so we started talking and then we started dating and then we we uh shortly after starting dating we broke up took a more or less of a break and then started dating again and eventually had kids got married and now divorced so there's the whole nutshell <laughs> and uh what a i should have known right there at that moment when my it was my friend's girl so to say should have known and then she turned out to be interested in me instead Yeah, it kind, of, it kind of goes to, there's a song out right now, and it's so true, um, I, and I, I heard it uh, through my daughter playing her little TikTok, is Disney, Disney, lied to me or something like that, uh, I'm mad at Disney, uh, I'm mad at Disney because you lied to me, yeah. you need to listen to that song because it actually, that's the truth there, so there is no the one. We all want to believe that that some divine power put down uh, another person here, and there and, are other half. Uh, yeah, your better half. And there, no girl is the one, but you can make a girl your one. You can make her your one, but there is no girl that's the one. I, I mean. There's no the one on anything. There's no the one on a job. There's no the one on a career. There's no the one on... It, it, that stuff doesn't exist. That's just cultural propaganda that you've been fed uh, to make, make you think that you're special or make you think that that there's hope. You know, people will tell you, oh, don't worry. You'll find someone. You'll find got, the one. You got to put down someone here for you. You know? You just got, I haven't found him yet. You know, they'll, they'll say stuff like that, but there's no such thing as, as the one. I wouldn't even dwell. I mean, that's called like one-itis is what uh, uh, Richard Cooper calls it. Uh, you shouldn't ever have one-itis. That puts you, that puts you in a very bad position for anything, really. I mean, if a job treats you a certain way, just leave, dude. Walk away. Walk away. If a girl's treating you a certain way, walk away. Like this chick that blew you off, just walk away, man. Yeah. Go find another yeah. one. They're not special. And it's, speaking of walking away, like it's it's something very hard to do. And to be completely honest, out of all the relationships I've ever had, there was only one that I could just, I just straight up was like, okay, bye. Wasn't wasn't hurt at all. I, I wasn't I wasn't invested, and um, I, w I was able to just literally walk away. And as I'm walking away, she's like, "Wait, no, no, I'll do better. I'll do better. I can. I don't. I won't do that again." And I just walked away, and that was that was that. And I I wish I wish that I could have stayed that way, but. I just, I wasn't able to, but that, honestly, I think that's the best kind of position to be in when you're able to just walk away. Well, and, and, and uh, I guess to elaborate on that more, 
as you get older, that'll become easier for you to walk away. And um, the reason that it gets harder to to walk away is because you, the more you invest in a person and the more you have physical uh, intimacy with them, it's just you get intertwined to where like it's hard to, to pull away, yep. especially yep. for a man. So that's why it was difficult as you went on to just pull the plug and walk away. You know that also that bond, like it, it makes you blind. You look past some things that if you were just getting in a relationship with this person, you would you would be like, oh no, that's a red flag and walk away. But once you get so invested into somebody like that. You kind of take those red flags and just ignore them. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't ignore one red flag. Nope. The, the, the red flags are there. I mean, I don't, I don't know about this guy's chick, but some red flags are if she has guy friends. And if she says they're just friends or they're gay or whatever. Dude, yeah, if she has guy friends, Pull the plug. It's which, over. Which, uh... Oh, dang it. I just lost what I had in my mind. What I was going to say. Oh, darn. Oh, well. It'll come back to me. <laughs> yeah. Another red flag is, of course, uh, a single mother. You just don't want... Because you're just not going to be a priority in her life. Right. Right. That, um... Number two, if she has, like... If she drinks a lot or smokes or does something like something like that or has tattoos, now tattoos, drinking and smoking weed are not inherently. I don't find them inherently bad. Um, a lot of people do them, and I don't find them bad. But if she drinks a lot, like more than usual, not just socially, like not just I'm going to a birthday party now I'm going to go drink. <laughs> like every day, yeah, every but, weekend, yeah, every day, every getting week. drunk, not just drinking one, yeah, just getting plastered. What this tells you is that she's very impulsive, and usually when you find people that are impulsive that way, they're also impulsive in other things. So if they can't control how many tattoos they put on their body, if that if they can't control how much uh, drinking they do, they just drink themselves under the table. And they have to do it every time that way. Yeah, uh, they're they're that they're promiscuous. They're that type. So if you get into an LTR with them, a long-term relationship with them, they're not going to be able to control themselves when you're not there. Right. When you're gone on a a week, oh, uh, what do you call them? A work. Um, oh dang it! Like a workshop for work. If you get sent away for a, an entire week. Sorry to say, but somebody else is at your house. Yep, yep. And a lot of times, uh, also a girl that constantly wants attention and needs attention. A very needy girl. That's what it was. What girl isn't that way? Uh, there, there actually is women that are this way. And but, but nowadays, so there's a rise in BPD girls. And. What causes BPD is the loss of attachment of a parent at an early age. Isn't that bipolar disorder or bi per double personality? Something uh, like yeah, that? bipolar, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, by, uh, I can't remember. I know I, you've told me. I I've, I've, told, told me. I've told you before, I just can't remember right now. But, so, what we a lot of women have this because of the divorce rate. They lose their fathers. Yep. And they need, so they have daddy issues. You've heard of daddy That's issues before. Yeah, yeah. So they're constantly going to need you on the phone. And obviously, you got to go to work, you got other things to do. You can't be on the phone with them all the time. But they actually start crying. Like, at first, you make the effort. And, and you may be on the phone with him all the time, like talking to him as if you have nothing to do. Yeah, been but, there. But then, I mean, you can't sustain that. I mean, and eventually it gets old and eventually like they'll be on the phone with you 
And if you don't have any new monkey tricks to talk on the phone with them, they get pissed off at you. Like, what, you don't want to talk to me? And you're like, no, I just don't have anything to say. And they get all upset, like, well, oh, okay, you don't want to talk. No, I literally, I've talked to you for like two months now, 10 hours a day on the phone. I've ran out of things to say. I pulled every <laughs> trick out of the book. I, I, I have nothing else. That's when you get the mute button and the, oh, I fell asleep. Yep. Yep. And you're actually happy when they fall asleep because then you don't have to be running your mouth anymore. Like a circus monkey. <laughs> so, so these girls, when you can't give them that attention, they're going to get other guys to give them the attention. And uh, some of these girls don't necessarily want to sleep with you or with those other guys. They just need that attention. But that if, validation. That validation, exactly. They need that constant validation, that constant attention. Having having another man talk to them on the phone makes them feel secure. But if 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 you can't talk to them on the phone, then they'll go find somebody that can, and that talking on the phone might lead to them having sex with that person. So that's one thing that you really don't don't want is a BPD girl that needs uh, constant attention. Um, another quarter mile, turn right onto West 14th Street North. An, uh, another one that kind of ties into to what we're talking about the BPD girl. You want a girl that has a good relationship with her parents. Yeah. Uh, if she doesn't have a good relationship with her parents, like they're not on speaking terms, or she never talks about them, or something like that, or she talks about it about her mom or her dad yeah there's something wrong there um uh if she can't even get along with her immediate family what makes you think she's gonna be able to get along with you so that's another red flag you should watch out for um uh, any other there's quite a few red flags we could bring up uh i think I think we've covered the maybe the most oh, oh. important ones. Here's one: the girl's nice out. Oh yeah, we did bring that up, but we didn't really talk about it. Yeah. So if you have a chick that always wants to go out with her friends or go on girls' nights out, hey Aaron, I'm gonna go out with my girls tonight. I'll be back later. Yep. Uh, or she needs to go on the weekend with her parents or her mom. And it's in another city or another state. Yep, out of town. Out of town. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Uh, swipe left. Chuck her to the side. That that was the biggest red flag that I personally continually ignored. Even after every time finding out that my gut feeling was right and something else was going on. I continually said, no, no, it's it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. It was a big mistake. I should not have done that. It looks like we might have arrived at where we're going. Right, looks like they have a... I think so. Man, look at all these people coming over today. Heck yeah, he has no idea. Maybe we should record as we walk in. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think all these people are coming just for his birthday, right? That'd be kind of cool. I know, it'd be cool, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm like, damn. Oh dude. no, I forgot my mask. Whoops. I totally forgot about that. Corona. Yeah. Corona, Corona. Oh wow, they let kids in here. Well... Or it's his birthday, huh? He rented the whole place. Maybe. <laughs> Man, big ballers rented. Shoot. Well, all right. I guess right now we'll uh, we'll go ahead and end this video, this podcast. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Drop some comments down below. And go to my description and follow on MDA, Modern Day Advice. So that way we can continue doing more of these because on his channel he goes more in depth than I ever have probably ever will <laughs> so definitely check him out that's down in my description below we're gonna go into this birthday party
and uh, surprise one of our buddies. <laughs> All right, take care, guys. Have a good night.